Both that are under a lot of pressure here, and Checkmate is low as well. The Winston's going to get involved, though, and finally the bring is brought down. The Florida Mayhem come alive when it counts. As the Florida Mayhem pull us into overtime, and Lee will bring the gavel down on the Justice, sending them home. I think it's the dream for every professional player and coach to go to live events and play in front of crowds and get to travel. It makes you feel like a, like a celebrity, it makes you feel special. Um, so I think the whole experience before we get to the competitive side was good. Um, I hope we get to do more of that uh, throughout the season as well. Yeah, real, real, real. I thought over time maybe they come close, but no. But we didn't win. Hey, let's focus, focus. Yeah, real, real, one more. To the, the Moira, just to get back faster, as this will be the beat trying to put the map away. Is Yep, there go both supports. Is Man, this is this is looked up right. from Washington. This is a stinker for the Washington oh, yeah. Justice. Holy shit. And a zero deaths? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm also with this too. This guy's like, Oh, oh, they have all the info, especially on where Decay is, and he needs another bionic grenade from Sir Margin. Stone Cold Killer, three final blows for the Arna here. Absolute MVP performance on the Arna, and Happy, he's just gonna pack it in at this point. Back to spawn, Sir Margin, another one. Give him all the kills! Give him a bloody statue on this map! Oh, Jesus. Get the other way, get the Hey, good job. We have scrims tomorrow, okay? What? <laughs> what? You see last fight? If we, 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 third time that I've been to Dallas. I was there for a short time for Team Envy, so it's always nice, but I'm well aware of the Dallas crowd and their home support and how many fans are gonna be there. So in turn, that also helped me tell the team, you know, there's gonna be a big crowd, there's gonna be a lot of, be a lot of people booing you, a lot of energy, it's gonna be hard to deal with, but it's always nice to come to Dallas because there's a lot of support and it's really passionate about Overwatch. Um, it's always hard with uh, rookies and especially rookies in a mixed team. Um, but like I said earlier, the biggest thing we lacked was experience. So just getting the experience in any way possible is, uh, is very important. Um, competitively, um, Overwatch 2 I think is just a superior product to Overwatch 1. And I feel that way as someone who also wants to play the game as an next player. I think 5v5 is just better for the game. I think 6v6 creates too many issues and 5v5 simplifies it while also making it more exciting. Um, going into the Atlanta series, I felt confident in what we were doing, but I was also hesitant because Atlanta is such a strong team and they're a team, pretty much every team has more experience um, going onto stage and going onto stage and having more experience is also like, it's a huge factor. A lot of people don't think of, especially the players. It's very hard. You think, you think you're prepared until you sit down on the stage and you hear the crowd rumbling, you're, you're looking around, there's bright lights, it's, it's hard. Um, but I think we felt good with our plan, our game plan, and what we were playing, just the lack of experience is what, is what killed us. Hi, advisor. From now, from now. What's your one? Man, Richard, we're at the, we're at the, we're at the, we're at the, we're at the. The Matt Kai opens up the account for the rain in this fight, and someone, what does he do? Looking for the window, perhaps? He overshoots it. Kai's able to get back in the spot and stay alive, and Gator wants to pressure down and slink down towards someone, and Kai, he's popping off. That's three for the winner, Matt Kai. I think the way I would put it when it comes to the Atlanta match is that we were the better team in practice and we were the better team maybe even uh, online coming into that match. Uh, for us the question was always the difference in experience. Um, ATL has a team with very few rookie players um, and at the end of the day I think that made a huge difference and we saw that on, on Gibraltar where you know the series could have gone either way. Um, but Kai decided that it wouldn't go either way, unfortunately, and he had the game of the event, I, I think, for, for him. So, um, at the end of the day, I think experience is really important. You, you saw that with a roster like Atlanta that struggled through the regular season, um, struggled in practice, and then came into the event and looked ready, right? And I think that's something that uh, we need time to replicate, for sure. Oh, <laughs>
Yeah. 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 I think Meg I think I think jump. B there? Ah, B here, I think you go to check. B here, 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 다른 생각 아예 없이 그냥 게임 하나만 집중하고 그냥 모든 것을 이제 이기는 데만 신경 썼던 것 같습니다. 저희 플레이가 좀 나오고 그리고 자신감 있는 모습이 이제 많이 나왔다 보니까 이제 그때부터는 이렇게만 계속하면 이제 다른 팀도 걱정 없다 이런 생각으로 임했던 것 같습니다. You guys, you ever hear the day where your coaches say sorry to Reaper? I don't think uh, I, I never threw it out the window. Never wasn't wasn't too. It felt really good because I knew that that kind of support would make us play better and would make Washington play worse. Um, yeah, it's not something we really banked on or expected. The, the fact that we had fans at the event. So far away from Florida is you know, obviously great. Um, so yeah, really appreciative. And it definitely made a difference in the result because that was a really close match. Um, unless you're the winning team, the most fun for me always is unless you win the whole event is going out and seeing um, all the other teams and going out and eating good food and getting drinks. That's always the most fun unless you're the winner. No one likes going home a loser. So that's usually my favorite part. Hey. Oh, 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 hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yeah, let me see it, man. Hey. hey. Playing Dallas was a little like playing Atlanta. We felt like the better team in practice. Um, we'd scrim them a lot leading up to, to that match. In fact, the previous two days we'd scrim them, which probably didn't help, to be honest, because we saw each other's strategy. Um, but we always knew the crowd would be a huge factor, and it was actually worse than I could imagine. Like, I remember the first kill they got on Li Jing, and the crowd just started screaming. It wasn't a special kill. I, I don't think like there was some crazy teamwork or anything, but it, it, I realized at that moment that any kill Dallas got would be met with incredible screaming from the crowd. I think going really low though, a couple of HP left. There's the Nano, there's the Blade, Sparkle finds one, Lamb's dead, Edson kills Sir Marchette. He's struggling with the wall just a little bit, but the rest of the team are not. Sparkle, tools left in the arsenal for the Mayhem. They're nearly caught in a ruckus right now. It's Edison in the back line again. The Death Blossoms have been so good. The Dallas Fuel, you might as well touch the sport. Someone forced to use some rival rage. He can't even touch. 
that didn't really affect me, but I'm not playing. So I was worried about the effect it would have on the players. And uh, I, I think judging by how those first two maps went, it definitely had a huge effect on our players. Yeah, so yeah. it's a good experience to have. And it's inevitable, right? Like, it's inevitable that that would happen and we'd play a match like that against the home team and, and we'd have to deal with that. And that's a good experience for the players. And on top of that, we could have avoided that match if we'd won earlier, right? So it's our fault regardless. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely figured that the crab would be a big factor in that match, and, and they were. But they did the beat, and they like, Nano Blossom Blade. I went and beat like they have all alts. Hard. I agree. Home crowd too, but we looked good. No, Third map. We were down. We were down two maps. Yeah. Always gonna play home crowd. You're good. Yeah. Well, this is your trash. We saw it here, trash. The giant do nothing. Lose. A goal for Hawaii and. Every event is to make every event. That's the only thing that matters to us. Performing at the event is nice, but making the events and getting the experience is what's important. Um, a lot of teams, uh, you know, in the bottom five or so, don't have the opportunity, so that's the most important thing for us. Um, not going to take anything for granted. We got a free playoff point from, uh, from Dallas, which is great, obviously, but we still have to win at least, you know, two or three matches in this stage to make Hawaii. And, we're not going to take anything for granted that we're somehow a good team and other teams are bad and you know it's our right to go to hawaii we have to earn that by winning matches um so we're going to confront the new meta head on and make the changes necessary to adapt if any um and really just take it seriously not look down on any team or you know any comp or any map or anything just really take everything seriously and continue working really hard like continue playing more than other teams reviewing more than other teams um because making hawaii is really important to us